Okay, I'm using autopilot. Whoa, but it's this road is a mess in terms of the lines. Turn right to I-275 anyway, North. We're heading up to Ocala now, then to Orlando. That's what today is. Not not as much more driving today and less things that we're doing. All right, goodbye Tampa. We're leaving. We won't be back. In one mile, stay to the left. Well, at least not till later. Long, like, like months later, if I'm back. I don't think so. It was an 80s band, right? Oh no, that was uh, Bush. Okay, we have some donuts here from yesterday. These need to be kept cold, and they are cold. And this is from Rockstar in Old Smar, Florida, where we were outside of Tampa yesterday. Right now we're in Ocala, over here at the supercharger. But it looks like a power bar, you said? Yeah, it looks like a donut shaped power bar. Donut shaped power, and then this, is, this is what I have right here. We'll, we'll find out what it tastes like. Go ahead, let us know what it tastes like. Okay, your opinion? It doesn't even resemble a donut. <laughs> it tastes like a power bar. Yeah, it's raw, vegan. It's, it's I think it's whole food plant-based also. And it's in the shape of a donut, <laughs> right? Yeah. But it's not fried. It's not. They don't make it in the same way that you make donuts. So oh, it's it's chewy. There's you can tell there's sweet stuff in there, like dates or raisins. Mm -hmm. My to topping is supposed to taste like caramel. I don't taste any caramel. You don't? <laughs> I taste chocolate in this one. Mm. Okay, we're in Ocala now, and we just finished charging at the Ocala supercharger. Portobello, can't see in there. Portobello panini, right? Mm -hmm. And I got the potatoes, pressed potatoes, is that what it is? Yes. Sweet potatoes. What is that? Portobello. Can't see in there. Portobello panini, right? Mm -hmm. And I got the potatoes. The pressed potatoes, is that what it is? Yes. Sweet potatoes. into the Ocala National Forest. This bridge is actually the bridge that takes you into the forest. At this point, after you cross over this river, the Aklawa, Aklawa, something like that, then we're in the forest. So you can get a good view of the forest looking over the top of this bridge. Is probably the highest point around, but it's just a lot of trees, and even the river is a lot of trees, you can see, whoa, big truck, it's not, it doesn't look like a regular river.
right, we're in Ocala National Forest. There it is. Hot dog vendor with the Confederate flag. <laughs> the guy behind me is like, what? They tried. They thought that was the where the road went, but it didn't go there. Whenever you go from one lane to two or two lanes to one, that's you run that risk of that happening. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna go from. Well, actually, it's probably worse when you're going from one lane to two than going from two lanes to one. Well, it's starting to get, it's starting to get loose. I can feel it. Let's see what it does. See, it lost the left side, but it's trying to follow the right side. And there, it made it. So yeah, it's definitely worse going from one lane to two. It doesn't know which lane to choose. See, all this to the north. That's all, right. That's all forest for a long way. I like forest. This is not a forest. Forest. Forest road. Yeah, it'll count. There it is. See, all this forest, you can, you can ride along these forest roads, walk along them. It's a lot of huge, huge amounts of land and lots of rolling hills like this. Also, it's all brick. It's brick on all walls, all four walls. And she said the brick on the outside looks good. So to me, that's a good sign. Um, And now we're headed down to Orlando. Okay, we're walking down the public frozen food aisle. No. Looking around. Wait. Let's see. There's supposed to be plants here, foods here, but I don't see any. So I guess this public either sold out, but I'm guessing they don't have it yet because I don't see it in this section. It should be in this section. I don't see it at all. starting to get closer to Orlando and we're definitely seeing more traffic now. It's not like being out in the forest. I'm concerned actually about I-4, what we might find on I-4 because it seems to always be full of traffic, but we're going into downtown Orlando so hopefully most of it will be going the other way.
now we're hitting traffic. So there, there surprisingly isn't that much traffic. Even though if you look on the map here, it looks really bad. It's most, mostly in the other direction. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Dude, this, whole, this thing does pretty well with the traffic ripples. You don't have to worry about ramming into the back of somebody. That's usually, I think that's how most of the accidents happen in traffic. There's like a big ripple of traffic and then somebody doesn't notice it and hits in the, into the back of somebody else. All right, so maybe I was wrong. This looks pretty bad. downtown off in the distance not too far away I've run through this area of town before in a quarter of a mile Turn left here. on Highland Avenue. Still won't let me. Right now. We're just north of the downtown area. So we're going to have to turn left. Actually, I'm going to turn it off again. All right, we're actually looking, gonna look down here for a new supercharger because I took a screenshot from the Tesla website that shows a new supercharger right near downtown Orlando. Because right now the only supercharger is a little bit west of downtown and north on one of the toll roads. It's actually in one of the travel plazas and it's not even in the direction we're headed. So if they have this one open, which I doubt, but we're gonna try to find out, that would be great. That would really help us out. We're gonna actually drive by Lake Lake Eola also in a minute once we get through this and try to see where the supercharger is. And actually, I don't. I, the supercharger might be in the garage. This is a really urban location, so it might actually be really hard for me to find. I don't know. I tried to look online to find something that would tell me where it is exactly, but there's nothing online. But the the map on the Tesla website does seem to pinpoint exactly where it is. Well, we just missed this cycle of light. It's on tight. for these things to pop up. Okay, we get out of that gridlock and we're trying to make our way back over here to see if I can find a supercharger. 
I think it's over there. Right there. I think it's in that parking garage or building. It looks like the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts. Take that spot. That's that's too small. <laughs> There's another one. There's someone writing the ticket. Okay, we're in Publix downtown Orlando, and look, I did find some here. Way up here, at least one entree. I don't know if I see any other ones. Yeah, it's just one. I guess they have a limited selection here, but they have one. Like, one. Yeah, but it's five because they have a limited selection because it's an urban store, I don't think. So that's where we're going. Real damn good food. Okay. Sunset left. It's not a picture, it's video. <laughs> Feeder? What come after you. You oh yeah, that's right. I, I have been attacking up as running around here before. <laughs> I have. Do what city are you in? Get them in Tyson's? Yeah. It's got hot pepper and jalapenos. I posted my pictures when I was in Tyson's getting the BBM back. It was some kind of old place. Okay, what did yeah. you think? <laughs> I got the fettuccine alfredo. It's vegan. It's with cashew cheese. This is the first time I haven't been disappointed by my dinner by eating out at a vegan oh, restaurant. Really? <laughs> yeah.
DJ? Sure I am. What does that mean? Who, who, who's, what's a docent say about this? And there's a peace sign in there? There's a peace sign underneath. What is that supposed to mean? There's some boots over there. Break it, you buy it. Oh no. 